This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. Afrelechen Tu B'Shvat. Everyone, thanks everyone for joining us tonight. We have a very beautiful array of Peirois. May the Rebbe Hashem be Mavarech, all the Peirois, that like we were Mespala from the Ben Ishchai, that we should be Zoycha to have an Esroig Noah and Yayin Noah. So I just want to share with you an idea. We know the, uh, the Magen Avram says that the Minog of the Ashkenazim is to be Marbe, Bepeirois. So what's the sign of being marba bepeirois? Especially some have a custom to have an esroig. These esroigim are many years old already. But what's this idea of eating pears on Tu So the Svarim tells us on Tu the sap rises in the tree, and therefore this is the appropriate time to masake in the chait of Adam Arishan who ate from the Yitz Hadas. Now, when Hashem asked, Adam, you ate from the Eitz Hadas? Adam said, Ve'achalti, he didn't say Ve'achalti, Ve'oichal, not only I ate, but I will eat again. Achalti Ve'oichal, I ate, and I'm going to eat again. What's Adam Rishon doing? Adam Rishon is telling the Rebbeinu Shalom that not only did he eat, he would do it again. Not only did he have the audacity to eat from the Eitz Hadas, is he actually saying that he would eat from the Eitz Hadas again? Is it bad enough he did it the first time? Is he committing to do it again? So the Kleisenberg Rebbe deals with a very interesting question. We know that a person's now to make a bracha she'ena tzricha. In other words, if you made a bracha on an orange, and you want to take another bite, you're now to make a bracha again. And the question is, why not? There's a big question in halacha, why not? We know that when you praise Hashem and piyutim and so forth, you mention Hashem's name again and again and again. There's nothing wrong with constantly praising Hashem. So why can't you make a bracha on every single bite of food that you eat? The answer is, says the Kleisenberg Rebbe, this is a question that's addressed by uh, many svarim, the Shulchan Tahar or the Kamarna, he, he asks this question, Namely, what's wrong with constantly uh, praising Hashem? So he says, once the Rabbanon legislated a bracha on a food, part of that legislation is you can only make it under those circumstances and you can't make it under other circumstances. That's the reason why if you eat illicit food, food that you stole or food that's not kosher, you're now to make a bracha. Why not? I'm praising Hashem. The answer is once the Chachamim legislated a bracha should be made under certain circumstances, that bracha may only be made under those cir- circumstances. Says the Kleisenberg Rebbe, and this is a little bit unclear, he says, when Adam ate from the Eitz Hadas, he was a shoigeg. He had a cheshben why he needed to eat from the Eitz Hadas. But did he make a bracha on the Eitz Hadas? Miman of shach. If he didn't make a bracha, we know, anyone who doesn't make a bracha is like he's mayol behektish and he's chayv misa. So what, he did make a bracha, but he wasn't allowed to eat from the Eitz Hadas. And you're now to make a bracha on something you're now to eat. That's why Hashem said, the day you eat from the Eitz Hadas, Mois Thomas, you'll die twice. One for eating it, and one for making a bracha on food you're now to eat. But Adam Rishon had a chap. He said, the fruit I already have a rationalization why I'm allowed to eat the Esraq. What about the bracha shein tzricha? The bracha shein tzricha... I'll eat another fruit with it. Don't say, oh, I'm now to make a bracha on the Eitz Hadas. You're right, if I would only be eating from the Eitz Hadas, I won't be allowed to make the bracha on the Eitz Hadas. But if I eat another fruit with it, so then the bracha that I shouldn't be making on the Eitz Hadas will go on the other fruit. So Adam Harishon told God, don't worry, I ate the Eitz Hadas, but I'll eat again, I'm going to eat another fruit with it. So that will take care of the problem that I'm making a bracha for naught, because the extra bracha won't be going on the Eitz Hadas, it'll be going on the additional Fruit. So Adam Rishon, so to speak, wiggled out of the problem of making a bracha and tzricha by eating an additional fruit. That was his kavana when he told God, not only did I eat it, I'll eat again. Eat again means I'll eat another fruit with it, and that will take care of the problem mm-hmm. of a bracha she'ena tzricha. Therefore, on, on the night of Tuba Shvat, we don't just eat one fruit in Esrog, we eat an Esrog and another fruit to show how Adam Rishon was got out of the issue of bracha she'ena tzricha on eating from the Eitz Hadas. So, on this occasion, may HaKadosh Baruch Hu be mavarech, not only the Peirois, but all of the Mishpachas of Kla Yisrael, that they have Peirois and Peirois that are Mesukim, and sweetness, and bounty, 
Lanu Ulcha Yisrael. Amen. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.